Alright, hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Frank in Action, and in this video, I will be having my talent for business lesson with a student. Uh, this would be his first lesson here in Native Camp, uh, Native Camp about talent lesson. So, this would be talent for business. So, um, there is no history, the student uh, did a talent lesson before, so we need to verify if the student was able to know what is Kalan lesson and we have to assess and help the student if Kalan business or Kalan for business is for him or not. So we don't know what will happen in this lesson yet. So let's see. <laughs> Alright, so, so stay tuned there and watch this video. Alright, so thank you so much for waiting. So as of this moment we're still waiting for the student to come. So just stay tuned. Hello. Yes, can you hear and see me? Alright, that's great. So my name is Frank. What's your name? Ariel, the mermaid Ariel. That's a nice name. <laughs> Alright, so this time you are doing Callan for business, is that correct? Oh, this would be your first time doing Callan lesson, correct? Oh, I see. Okay, so technically what we do here in Native Camp is we do the regular Callan first before we do the business Callan. So I just want to know if you have any ideas on how Callan lesson works. Y yes, no, 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 okay. All right, so here's the thing. What made you choose Callan business? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. So this is one of the special lessons that Native Camp is actually offering to our students. Great. So we will try to do the business Callan now. And let's see if there is some confusion after the lesson. Let's see if you could be able to understand the process. And if in any case, you need to get more information on how to do the Callan business, I would suggest to do a level check first, okay, for doing the Callan, regular Callan lesson. And then let's assess if you can do regular Callan lesson plus Callan business side by side, okay? All right, so while doing the lesson, I will also demonstrate on how to do the lesson, okay? Okay, so here in Callan lesson, the teacher will say the word repeat, listen, practice. So these three words are instructional words. So these are instructions that we give to our students to be guided all throughout the lesson. Okay, now the teacher will also give you some words. So if I say listen or repeat, when the teacher say repeat, you're just going to repeat the words. Then when I say listen, I will explain. And then when I say practice, you will answer directly after I say the word or the questions twice. So there are instances that you might don't understand the question. So the teacher will give you the answers. And what you just need to do is to repeat the answer. But make sure to shadow the answer. Okay? Not parroting. It should be shadow. So when you say power thing, if I say, my name is Frank. Okay, like that. So that's power thing. So I say first and you say. You repeat the words or the sentence. Now, we will do shadowing. Meaning, if I say, this is a pen, you should say, this is a pen. Like you should, as much as possible, speak together with me at the same time. Okay? All right, repeat, senior, junior, technical. All right, listen. So the word junior is used as an adjective. It means having low rank in an organization or profession. Example, I would have a problem working for a boss who was 20 years my junior because I used to have a boss much older than me or younger only five years than me 
When you say senior, it's used as an adjective. It means higher in standing or rank than another person in the same position. For example, there are several people here who are senior to me with a higher rank than me. When you say technical, it's used as an adjective. It means the ability to do the difficult things that you have to do in order to play music, do a sport, etc. For example, in my opinion, a person's technical skills are more important in enabling someone to rise to a senior position in a company than their social skills. Let's practice. This time, you're going to answer my question, but you have to wait after I read the question twice, okay? Now, in your opinion, which is more important in enabling someone to rise to a senior position in a company, their technical skills or their social skills? In your opinion, which is more important in enabling someone to rise to a senior position in a company, their technical skills or their social skills? In my opinion, a person's what? Technical skills or social skills? Not technical, technical skills are more important are more important in enabling someone to rise to a senior position in a company than their social skills very good now would you have any problem working for a boss who was 10 years your junior would you have any problem working for a boss who was 10 years your junior yes now yes I'd have some problem some problem working for a boss who was 10 years my junior very good repeat a touch attachment submit expenses newsletter print out body text all right listen so the word attach is used as a verb means to fasten or join uh, one thing to another for example we attach a recent photograph to our application form when you say attachment it means document or a file that is sent with email like for example I usually send a document as an attachment to my email when you say submit it's used as a verb it means to give a document proposal piece of writing etc to someone so that it can be considered or approved for example if you're applying for a job you need to submit your application form to the reception desk when you say expenses is used as a noun it means uh, the money that you spend on things such as travel and food while you are doing your job and which is your company then pays to you for example when submitting a claim for expenses an employee needs to attach receipts to the claim form as proof of how the money was spent when you say newsletter it means a short written report that tells about the recent activities of an organization and that is sent to members of the organization for example the society publishes a newsletter uh, twice a year when you say print out it's used as a phrasal verb which means to produce a paper copy of document that is on a computer the next word is body text the word body text is used as a noun it is found when writing a new email message so the message body or the body text contains the complete message let's practice when submitting a claim for expenses, does an employee need to attach receipts to the claim form as proof of how the money was spent? When submitting a claim for expenses, does an employee need to attach receipts to the claim form as proof of how the money was spent? Yes, when submitting, submitting a claim for expenses, an employee needs to attach receipts to the claim form as proof of how as proof of how the money was spent the money was spent very good now if you were emailing 
a newsletter to colleagues and you expected them to print it out, would you include a newsletter as an attachment or put it on the body text of the email? If you were emailing a newsletter to colleagues and you expected them to print it out, would you include the newsletter as an attachment or put it in the body text of the email? If I were emailing a newsletter to colleagues and I expected them to print it out, I'd include the newsletter as an attachment why why because it's easy for them to download and print the document very good repeat promote promotion leaflet very good listen so the word leaflet is used as a noun it means a small book or piece of paper advertising something or giving information on a particular subject so when you say promotion it is a noun of the verb promote like for example I have never asked my boss for a promotion at work another one is promote the word promote is used as a verb so there are two meanings so first is to help something happen to develop like promoting a new a project about recycling another meaning of the word promote is to give someone a better or more responsible job in a company like for example mr. a was promoted to senior manager let's practice how can a national government promote the habit of recycling among the general population how can a national government promote the habit of recycling among the general population a national government can promote the habit of recycling among the general population by teaching children about recycling at school, sending out leaflets, building more recycling centers, etc. Very good. Have you ever asked your boss for a promotion at work? Have you ever asked your boss for a promotion at work? Yes, no. I never asked my boss for a promotion at work very good repeat in the red in the black very good listen so when you say in the red in business term it means spending and owing more money than is being earned for example apparently the company had been in the red meaning had been losing money for some time before it went out of business when you say in the black it's the opposite of in the red, which means making a profit, which is good. For example, the company is finally in the black, meaning the company is profitable. Let's practice. Is it better for a business to be in the red or in the black? Is it better for a business to be in the red or in the black? It's better for a business to be in the black. Very good. Repeat. Debit card. Current account overdraft balance cover okay listen so when you say debit card it is a small plastic card that is used to buy things by having the money to pay for them taken directly to your bank account debit card or we say savings account when you say current account uh, it means a bank account from which you can take money by writing checks for example we're more likely to be offered a debit card when we open a current account okay when you say overdraft means the amount of money you owe to a bank when you have spent more money than you had in your account for example the most common reason people have for applying for an overdraft on their current account is because the balance of their account is too low to cover all their expenses when you see balance it means the amount of money in the bank account so for example I have one million dollars in my bank account and I will get seven hundred thousand dollars now there will be only three hundred thousand balance in my account minus some expenses let's practice which type of card are we more likely to be offered when we open a current account? Which type of card are we more likely to be offered when we open a current account? We're more likely to be offered 
a debit card when we open a current account. Why? Why? Because the debit card is easier to use than issuing checks all the time. Very good. Good job. All right. Now, what's the common reason people have for applying for an overdraft on their current account? What's the most common reason people have for applying for an overdraft on their current account? The most common reason people have for applying for an overdraft on their current account is because the balance of their account is too low to cover all their expenses. Very good. Repeat. Executive. Decision making. High ranking. CEO. Chief Executive Officer. Managing Director. President. All right, listen. So by an executive, we mean someone who holds a senior position in a company's management team and who has a high level of responsibility for decision making. So the most high ranking executive have job titles such as uh, CEO or Chief Executive Officer, Managing Director, President, etc. But the CEO is perhaps the most common of these titles. Let's practice. What do we mean by an executive? What do we mean by an executive? By an executive, we mean someone who holds a senior position in a company's management team and who has a high level of responsibility for decision making. Last question. What job title might the most high-ranking executive in a company have? What job title might the most high-ranking executive in a company have? The most high-ranking executive in a company might have a job title such as CEO, Chief Executive Officer, Managing Director, President, etc. Okay, very good. So I think we're just going to stop here at paragraph number three. Last word is precedent. Okay, so I understand we're supposed to continue the lesson until the lesson finishes. But since this is your first time having the lesson and you don't have any demonstration, you don't have any orientation yet about Cal and lesson, I would like to open the floor to, for you to ask questions. So do you have any questions or confusions about what happened during the lesson? <laughs> May I ask the content of the lesson? Well, when it comes to the Callan lesson, that's a very good question. When it comes to doing the Callan lesson, you, the students are required to have the Callan book. Oh. Yes. All right. How about another question? I think the tempo is really fast. Okay. All right. Very good. So that's the question that I'm really expecting from you. If you think the conversation was very fast or the tempo was very fast. So again, Callan lesson is not a normal class setup. Uh, Callan method it is. Meaning we are actually following the process of speaking faster than the student. So the main reason why we are doing that is because of avoiding or we really want the student to avoid translating English to your language and your language to English. So the faster it is, the lesser time for you to think what's the meaning of the sentence. And anyway, you don't have to worry because the teacher is actually helping you to answer the question. Have you noticed that? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Alright, so again, if the teacher is speaking faster than you, it means that the teacher is actually doing his job <laughs> meaning is the teacher is really trying his best to help you avoid translation because the time you translate it delays your speaking acquiring the language so again we are not only learning here the english we are actually acquiring naturally the english language in our system so that's why we have to speak as fast as we can 
Is it understood? Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> All right. I hope it's clear. If you have any questions next time, please feel free to ask me so I could be able to okay. answer those. All right? Okay. Thank right. you. You're always welcome. Have a great afternoon there. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. So that was the Callan business lesson. And it's actually her first time to do Callan lesson. She doesn't have any idea what Callan is. And the student chose to do the Callan business right away. And in that booking lesson, she cannot shift to Callan business to do the regular lesson. Perhaps the student was, you know, confused what to do first. But what you have to do there is since you are aware that the Callan lesson is actually very new for her, you really have to do a little bit of orientation, make her, you know, feel much more excited about the chosen book. But again, throughout the lesson, I can notice that the student is actually equipped and actually ready to do the Callan lesson, the way she answered. But you really have to keep on guiding the student because perhaps the student might be thinking that it would be better for him or her to go back to the regular Callan lesson before doing the Callan business. So again, guys, all throughout the lesson, it's you as a teacher who is responsible to make the student appreciate what he is doing or what she's doing, what is the chosen book she chose all throughout the lesson. So again, guys, in that sample lesson, sample video, you will notice that I'm not only doing the Callan business right away, I'm also giving him or her the orientation, the correct expectation all throughout the lesson so she will not be you know having a heartache after the lesson like oh my god and she's i feel not good during the lesson of course you will feel that if you will not be giving her the proper expectation what talent method is so perhaps i don't know what the student's decision after the lesson she might be thinking about continuing the talent business or she will start doing the level check for talent or regular talent lesson all right so again those are just some examples on how you're going to, that's only one of the situations that is very inevitable that might happen all throughout the lesson. And um, you have to be very vigilant to that. All right, so again, guys, good luck in your lesson. Every day is a challenge. Every day is a new situation to learn. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you had fun. I hope you get value to those things that I have mentioned and the things that I, I, I experienced all throughout the lesson. Alright, so again, this is Teacher Frank, and see you next time in my video. Have a great day!